this is Jorge from Mexicali Fish Keeper. As you guys can see, I'm up early, early in the morning as um, I'm actually headed out to uh, Phoenix today. Uh, the shipment for the fish that were sent from uh, from uh, Steve Warrior Planet Tanks are, are arriving today at the airport uh, somewhere around 10 to noonish. You know, somewhere in that area. I still don't have the the air bill freight I guess is what it's called um, but it's 6 7 right now in the morning uh, it's Friday the 29th of March and uh, I'm gonna be heading out there that's why it's kind of early right now by the time it's about a three and a half hour drive to get there so if I leave now at 6 I'm arriving there somewhere between 9 30 10 o'clock depending on traffic because uh, I am gonna have to fight with the morning commute for people that are going to work up in that area and hopefully the flight's not delayed and um, but I wanted to share that with you guys uh, I still not really sure what I'm receiving or how much how many the quantity that I'm receiving but these are all fish that are going to go to uh, to the Children's Museum and uh, again I want to say thank you to Steve uh, from Warrior Planet Thanks uh, for hooking me up with the fish so I'm gonna get on the road and um, I guess next time you see me we'll be at the airport you guys take care All right, so I'm, I'm here at the airport now. Um, actually, I got here a little bit early. I was on the phone uh, talking to a friend of mine that I haven't talked to in a while and chatting it up because the flight wasn't scheduled to come in till 10 o'clock and it looks like uh, it just landed. It's 10.05 right now, but they're telling me that it takes about 45 minutes to an hour before the fish actually hit the cargo area. So just so that you guys can see where I'm at, um, it'll be here and uh, so I got to wait about another hour probably what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go see if the pet store is open where I need to drop off the fish that way it'll eat up some of that time and then I'll swing back over here and pick up the um, the fish and then try to hurry up on home uh, to unbox that stuff but I uh, just kind of wanted to keep you guys posted as to what's going on and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit all right So they got here. I um, I loaded them up to the in the car. So now I'm gonna drive up to uh, the chlorophyll corner. I think I'm gonna open them up there just to make sure that everything came in okay. And um, from there, then head on home. So uh, so you guys, here you go. There's two boxes in there. I'm not quite sure what's in there yet. I did talk to Steve, and I guess there was some uh, species that were that were changed out. Uh, because of availability so we'll see it's gonna be a surprise for me as much as it is for you guys so see you guys in a bit all right uh, I just got to this well actually I'm about to leave the store um, they're real busy right now and I didn't <laughs> there's too many people in there to try to even film the store today uh, there was already a, a group of people waiting to go in even before they open because they open at 12 o'clock today I did get a chance to open up the boxes. Everything in there looked like it was still moving and it's looking pretty good. So now I'm in a hurry to try to get back home. It's probably about 12.25 based on the, the clock on the on the car. So I should be getting home around four o'clock. Hopefully I can still catch the museum open. Um, if not, then uh, I'll have to figure something out for, uh, for the fish, but um, he looked at them and from talking to Steve on the phone because he wanted to know how the fish were doing and for the 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 provider of the fish the I guess the wholesaler uh, they're telling me I can drop those in directly into the aquarium especially because there's no other livestock in there and um, I'm gonna drop in another bottle of uh, Fritz 7 just to kind of boost um, whatever's in there and and I have um, 
Also some other cycled media that I might just throw in there just as a precautionary measure. But that's what's gonna happen. I'm about to get on the road. Once I get back into Yuma, I'll give you guys an update and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm in uh, Yuma now. Uh, the museum closes at four. It's four, uh, 3.33 right now. So I'm, I just stopped by the house, picked up a bucket, a net, and uh, I'm headed over to the, the Children's Museum so that I can go ahead and put those fish in the aquarium. Again, uh, I was kind of wanting to quarantine them and uh, put them in my, you know, in the fish room for about a week for observation, but uh, it looks like Steve and the recommendation of the, uh, of the shipper, the wholesaler, uh, was to just go ahead and put them all in there. The only thing is that they did suggest that since uh, I am going to have angel fish in there to wait uh, for about a week for these guys to get settled in before I add the angel fish. So since you know it's coming from them, I'm going to follow their their instructions on it. They seem to be pretty confident they're going to be fine. Um, so I'm going to do it that way. Uh, also. It's, it's it'll serve I guess for those that are saying oh you're not gonna quarantine the fish and you know how dare you not do that well the reality is since it's a uh, an aquarium that doesn't have any other species in there they're basically going into a quarantine aquarium uh, the only thing is I'm gonna have to start I'm gonna have to for at least the next couple of weeks like every other day be going to the the museum and checking up on them if anything has uh, died to make sure I pull it out of there hopefully I don't have any losses in there so that's what I'm doing I'm headed over there right now uh, I'll you guys will see me once I get in there and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit all right so I made it in here just before they close as you guys can see right behind me let me turn the camera around here's the aquarium itself um, here are the two boxes of fish. We're going to go ahead and unbox this. Well, I kind of already opened it because I wanted to make sure the stuff was live and Steve wanted me to make sure that everything had arrived okay. So now that I have it here, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what, what we got in this shipment. These are going to be some antlers um, that we're going to put in there. So it looks like we got some antlers. These are some German blue rams. Uh, everything's kind of fitted out, and obviously it's got medication in the bag, so we won't be able to see what they are. But that's uh, it was five German blue rams in there. And in here, I think these are going to be the diamond tetras. They got a bag of diamond tetras. It looks about 10 of them. I think these are going to be the, the lemon tetras. Nice little group of about 10. In here we have some albino corridoras and some panda corridoras. We have albino and pandas. The pandas are still a little bit small. And this being the biggest bag is about 50 um, black skirt tetras that'll be going in there. So let me get these guys out of the bag and start putting them in the aquarium.
you doing? Looking at oh, it's feeding. Yes, we're adding some fish to the aquarium. Ah, uh, we have some tetras. We have. Coming in. The fish are in. We have to make them swim. They're so good. Come on, I'm ready to do the Unless you want to try your spreader, because I'm not going to do it today. If you want to try your spreader, come on, you can go ahead. Shot spot's done. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're all in there now. So, this, they're not going to be colored up today, but just so that you guys can see, um, these are the black skirt tetras, uh, some of the endlers that are in there. Let's see what else that we can spot. Well, I guess there are the long fin tetras. Not really what I wanted, but, um, you know, it is what it is. We do have some that are stressed out, which I kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, but we'll see. They've been in the bag for a while. And uh, I'll give it a few minutes, check them out. Once they start kind of moving around, I'll uh, bring it back.
<laughs> all right so we got the fish in i was a little bit worried at first because i saw some of them sink immediately to the bottom and they weren't moving but you know it's plop and drop they've been in the bag for for a few hours and uh, i guess they were a little bit too stressed the lights were on in that aquarium so that didn't help a little bit but as you guys can see by the footage i took right before leaving um they came around now it's just going to be a question of me monitoring uh, monitoring the status of that aquarium i'm going to swing by tomorrow after work uh, i want to bring in uh, some neil caradinas so because i know that um i know the the driftwood's going to start developing a biofilm so i want them to be able to clean that up and i'll probably bring a couple of the bristles plecos just to help out with that too but uh other than that i think they're gonna be okay uh i'm gonna wait a couple of weeks let those fish really get established before i bring in um the the angel fish although by the looks of it i don't know if there's gonna be room for them because there's a lot of fish in there as a matter of fact leave me a comment let me know if i should be adding angel fish to that or not i'd really appreciate your um your suggestion on that um there's 50 uh, black skirt tetras apparently there's like 10 lemon 10 uh, diamond tetras uh, about 20 uh, endlers and there's got to be a group of about 20 uh, corridors between albinos and uh, the panda quarries uh what else is in there oh and uh, did i say the diamond oh the lemon okay there's there's a black skirt a lemon diamond uh what else is in there and the antlers the pandas because it was like five bags oh and the german blue rams and um so you know we'll just uh periodically when, when i you know like i said i'll be here tomorrow they should be a little as even now when i was leaving the tetras the black skirts were starting to color in uh the german blue rams i was surprised they were acting like nothing had happened they they were a lot sturdier than i thought they were going to be i was those were the ones that i was really worried about and then you know the quarries will do the typical quarry where you think they died and they're just frozen on the bottom and then all of a sudden they just start moving so that was a little bit of a, a freak out there but you know it's no different I, i've done water changes and they do the same thing um but hope you guys liked it uh and i'll keep you guys posted as i as that aquarium progresses the plants grow out steven just told me today i guess he's going to be sending some more plants in so between the ones that i have trying to trying to bring them back and whatever he sends i'm going to have a lot more plants that could potentially go in there so with that being said, I want to say thank you and I'll see you guys soon. You guys take care.